Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another big tip that I got for you today that's brought to you by Bridgeford Foods, which means it's a good one because as you know, my Bridgeford Foods tip of the month matches the quality of their product, which means it's a top-notch tip. So guys, this is one that will help save you money anytime you're using drop shots. As we know, when you're using drop shots like this Berkley Max Scent Flatworm, what happens all the time is you nose hook that bait and the baits get pulled off. So you can go through a bag of flatworms in no time. So in this case, if I take this Fusion 19 drop shot hook, you're going to rig it just like that. You're going to nose hook it, which gives you absolute maximum movement, which entices more bites. But at the same time, if the fish short grabs that bait, they're going to rip that right off. Well, guys, I've got for you a super simple solution to that. This is something that was taught to me a couple of years ago. You know, the, the Maxent flatworms, these things have been in high demand for the last couple of years. Every time the summer rolls around, the smallmouth guys buy them out because they are absolute dynamite on the smallmouth. Well, you know, when they're in such high demand, they're also really hard to get. So a lot of anglers, including myself, were trying to figure out ways to keep from losing their flatworms. And I've got for you a really good way to do it. And it works on all drop shot baits. So what I've gone and done is I've been using these decoy worm holder springs. All it is is a spring. You take the spring, and at this point, if it's a drop shot bait, you can just simply screw it through the top of your bait in a vertical manner. So I'm gonna screw it far through so you guys can see it. So it's poking through. And at that point, what I'll do is I'll back it out just so that last one is barely through the worm. Then I'll take a pair of scissors or your, your uh, needle nose pliers, whatever it is, you can cut it off. So I left a little bit hanging out so you can see it there on both sides. And at that point, when you go to rig your drop shot, you still can nose hook it, which is gonna give you op optimum motion out of your bait, which is gonna increase the number of bites you get. But because I've got that spring holder in there, which you can kind of see, let's see if you can see that, you can kind of see it under the, under the hook. In order for a fish to pull that off now, they have to pull the whole spring out of the worm. Man, I'm telling you, you will get four to five times more fish catches per worm than you would if you were not using that spring inside of the bait. So it's definitely a tip that you want to implement if you're a big drop shot fisherman. It does not matter if you're throwing a, worm, a robo worm or a flat worm or whatever it is that you like the drop shot. If you want to maximize the number of fish you're catching per bait, insert a spring vertical through your bait. You know, you're talking on, on a spring like this, you'll probably get 10, close to 10 baits per full spring. So one pack of baits per spring but you're gonna increase the life of that pack of baits multiple times. I can tell you Berkeley's probably not real happy at me for sharing this tip, but guys, it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. And if it saves you money in the long run right now, it makes it worthwhile. So guys, check it out. Get yourself some of these decoy worm holder springs, a bag of flatworms, and go catch yourself a pile of fish. I'm telling you, this works wonders. It's the Bridgeford Foods tip of the month. Stay tuned, guys. If you enjoyed this one, we'll have more videos coming out tomorrow with tips and tricks. So hit the like button, share it on your social media pages, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.